Hello America, welcome back to Mullet U. Today we're going to go over why is my dishwasher draining very, 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 very slowly or do I get a little error code that says it's not draining at all. A couple things that you can do for yourself. We're going to show you, we're going to figure out a couple quick easy ways to check for yourself to save yourself some money and make it where you don't have to call me out to fix your appliance for a lot of money. So first thing you want to do is, is there water left in the bottom of your drain? Okay, what I mean by that is if you open your machine, this happens to be a Bosch, but they're all basically the same functionality. You want to get rid of your rack because that's obviously going to be in your way. My big fat knuckle busters here don't fit under the rack. What you're going to want to look for is, do you have sitting water here? If you don't have sitting water here, that's a good thing. That means you're draining some. Now, if you do have water here, that means you're not draining at all, which means you've got much larger problems, which you're probably gonna have to wanna call someone out for. But if you do get like a slow drain, one of the things you can look for is, all the ball dishwashers have a little thing like this. This is a filter. This keeps all large particles from going into the motor and damaging the inside of your machine. If this gets clogged up, water can't go through so therefore you can have a very very slow drain real easy you can push this out this one's actually very nice you can see the little red arrows line up either way as long as your red arrows are going to line up it's going to be locked in place okay some of these will actually come apart and then check see the little very very fine filter screen there also if you can see through it and light through it that's not a bad thing if you can't see any light through it or if you look through this and see how I can see you, yes, I can see you, that's a good thing. If you can't see through this, you have a problem. You need to get this cleared, you need to get this cleared so the water can drain properly to get to the drain so it'll actually be used out of your machine correctly. If these are clogged or blocked, let's say you have heavy water, and if you don't know if you have heavy water, you don't have heavy water. You know if you have heavy water, or hard water, I mean, my mistake. Uh, I have soft water at my house, so I do not have this issue. But a lot of areas do have hard water, which means these are gonna, you know, crystallize up and you get that white film over everything. You gotta clean those off. You can use a brush, you can use a toothbrush. If you're mad at your husband, you can use his toothbrush, but I didn't say to do that. You don't wanna do that because that's not a good thing to do. That's funny. Okay, but you wanna check for that. Also, if you look inside of here, do you have anything big, chunky in there? There's only a couple of little small areas that the water will actually flow through and go into the drain so it actually comes out. If by some chance you've got big chunks of whatever you had last night for dinner that didn't go through, like noodles or shit that won't break down, you want to make sure you clear those out. Get your little shop vac, vacuum it out because you really can't get a lot of your fingers in there real well. Doesn't fit well, but shop vac works really, really well. That's something you want to think about. Okay, that's if you don't have a lot of standing water. You still want to do this if you have a lot of tiny water because you may have restrictions in here that you can block out. But you want to check for that. See these are really, it just goes in, put it in, lock it up, and that's it. And once you get the red arrows locked up, it doesn't come up anymore. But you want to make sure you can see through that. If you can't, you're going to have to clean it, okay? That's the Bosch. We'll go with a couple of other manufacturers just to be safe. Now let's take a look at the GE. It's going to be similar, but it's not going to be exactly the same. Now remember, get this out of the way. Like I said, you may not have the meat hooks that I do, so they may have decided it, but my meat hooks don't. See, so you still basically have the same principle. You twist out, you see a little filter there, that gets clogged real easily, take it off. You see, you can lock it, unlock it, these things, you know, come out, you can do this with them. Every manufacturer is a little bit different, but they have the same principle. And then this will lift right up. See, you'll be able to look through this. This will help you out if you can't see through it, and I can mean, or hold up the light. If you can't see the light through it, you gotta clean it, okay? That's the basic GE setup. And if you look in there, you really can't get, it's hard to dig stuff out of here with my big meat hooks. But like I said, a little, nice little shop vac works really well, one of the little two gallon or wet dry vacs, you know what I mean? You just wanna be able to look through it, and if you look through it, you can see light through it. That's the easiest way to tell, okay? That's the GE. We're gonna find someone else to look at now. Now we have Whirlpool we're gonna look at. You know, location is basically gonna be where it's accessible. You should not have to take a bunch of stuff off to get to it, for the most part. Now that's not all manufacturers do the exact right, but a Whirlpool, it's on a little bit over here. Twist it up, pull it out, see? And nice little clear through, like I said, hold it up to the light. See if you can see through it, if you can, great. But don't just do one spot, actually roll the thing all the way around, because even, partial blockage is going to slow your drain down you want to make sure you can see through the whole thing okay once that one's clear then pull this one up okay same principle hold up to light check the whole thing because if i look at one spot going oh it's clear but this entire half over here is bad 
you're gonna have more issues, okay? Like I said, just use a brush, clean them up, you know what I mean? Okay, so like I said, you've had issues with it draining, taking longer to drain, things along those lines. There are things you wanna look at, the basic thing like we showed you, check the filters, check, make sure they're clear. And if they are, make sure your sump is clear, they are in the bottom there. If it's all clear and it's still not draining, you probably got a bigger issue which you're gonna to wanna to call someone out to take a look at because they're gonna to have to uninstall it, clean out your drain pump. Your drain pump might sound like it's working, but it's not actually not. But they can do that for you. So like I said, if it's having a long time to drain, it's not draining at all, things that you can do and you can look for, those are real quick, easy things to look for. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, come back for some more wonderful information because the Mullet Man is always here for you.